Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got some special guests in the building. Yes, indeed. My guy Twin, which is Joel Santana's brother. What's going and we on? have Kimbella. Welcome. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Kimbella, is this your first time? Don't play. No, she's been here. Right, Kimbella been here before. I was here in 11. <laughs> that was a long time long ago. Time Nine ago. years ago. Nine years ago. And prior to that, lip service with you. Yes. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, lip service, if people don't know that history, Kimbella actually revealed that she was dating Joel Santana for the first time. Yes on lip service <laughs> in its first iteration, so. Yeah, that was fun. And now here we are 20 years later. Isn't I don't know how long it is. Isn't it crazy? <laughs> it's crazy. So now we're here, Joel's has an album out today. Yes, Free Santana. Mm -hmm. It dropped today. Please download it. It's nothing but fire. Um, I put, well, he put, he laid down the tracks and I put my blood, sweat, and tears behind it because he's not here. Of course, he's serving his sentence. Um, he is due to be home this summer. Uh, so we have some music that we released for him. Mm -hmm. um, it was very important for us to do that because, um, as some people may not know, um, it has been difficult um, in the past for Jewels to release his music. So now that we have the music... Difficult? Why is it difficult? Uh, he just didn't want to release music? Yes. For he, like 10 years? <laughs> no, he was holding on to that. Oh, but why? I, I, why? I was like, oh, come on now. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Enough's enough. Yeah, yeah Exactly. And so how old are these songs on the album? They're they're actually very current. They're not okay. old at all. Um, I could I would say maybe about a year old, but he was still you know um, creating music up until the day that he left. Mm -hmm. Like literally in the basement where his studio is, uh, just creating music. Um, and uh, we were able to uh, keep the hard drives and um, you know just create. Right now, we have like three different projects on the table. This was our first one that we we released. But why did he, why did he hold on to music so, for so long before releasing anything? What what was that method to the madness? <laughs> he just you know is a perfectionist, and I, I you know I would rather him be here to answer that question. Right. But being his wife, um, knowing him very well, and of course, twin, you can chime in at any time. Yeah, but uh, he he just you know he knew his music was great, but he always always said it has to be at the perfect time for for me to release his music, um, because he valued it so much. So at this point, you know, for me looking in. This is the perfect time. You're not here. People have been asking for your music for so long. Let's give them what they've been waiting for. And now even more so, they miss you. So let's let's put this music on the streets. Let's do it. He's got a little Wayne verse. Is that an old verse or is that? He got about twenty that... songs of <laughs> no, Lil Wayne. Oh, no, I'm talking about on this. No, 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 I'm talking about on this particular. Your time to yeah, yeah, time got twenty it. songs of Wayne. So, got about. I'm talking about on this particular album. Okay, this. so on this mm -hmm. album, Free Santana, that released today, he has two songs. Um, one called Bloody Mary and the other one called Boiling Water and uh, those aren't that old those are like a year or two old oh really yeah they're not mm -hmm. that old actually mm -hmm. but they had the whole album I, I can't feel my face right yeah Prior, that was a yeah, long time was, ago mm -hmm. but you can but go we ahead do, we do have a I have a whole like 25 songs that we're about to go through and pick and pick through we already spoke to Wayne and him, Tez, everybody's on board, so we're gonna put that out like within the next six months. Wow. So wow. that's another project. So that that's we're, another we're project. Hopefully he'll be home and here ready to, you know. When is he coming home? This summer. He'll be home. We're waiting we don't have for no a date. date. Mm -hmm. We're waiting for a date, but the paperwork has been submitted and um, I'm super excited to hear from him to hear about that date and just put it in my calendar and have an official day of, you know, all right. We hope in June, though. Yes. Oh, we hope in June. Yeah, I saw last week it was his one year anniversary yes. of being How much time did he get? 27 months. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And then I also, uh, obviously, we got to talk love and hip hop. Oh. So. <laughs> on the show, Jewels and, and you were very open about him having this battle with a drug addiction. Right. Right. So how difficult was that for you guys to be able to express that for the world to see? Well, not for nothing. Jewels, uh, you know, if we could just keep everything in the house, we would do that. But because he was dealing with this and um, he wanted to show the world basically what he had on, his, on the table, on his plate at the time, because not for nothing that had a lot to do with the reason why he wasn't releasing any of the music as well mm -hmm. um and he was battling that and him being incarcerated you know the first time was for what 30 days he had to go through withdrawals in jail and that right there kind of even me visiting him there he would tell me yo if 
I wasn't here right now, I would be like you there would be a funeral. Mm -hmm. Like there would be no no new music or me coming home or anything. It would be nothing. It would be me in the ground. And when he told me that, I knew he finally realized what was happening. Like, no, we, we can't do this anymore. You need to get clean. You need to come home, be with your family. And now we got to deal with the fucking system. Right. Because now we have to deal with these court dates. We don't know if they're going to give you time or how much time. You know, it was we were dealing with all of that all at once. And so, of course, the show came into play during that time. And he's like, you know what? I'm just going to be transparent. I'm going to let the people know what's really going on and why this is happening and, you know, where I'm at in my life right now. Twin, were you aware that all this was happening with your brother? Yeah. I, I, I'm not going to sit up here and lie and say, and say I wasn't aware, but to, uh, it's really no defense for it. You know, we spoke. I, I'm, 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 I'm there. I'm, I'm going to tell him what's right. And as a man, he got to make sure, you know, he, he do what's important to him and, and, what's, and what's right for him. I think him being incarcerated and just the whole situation happening, him almost losing his family, almost losing his wife, almost losing his, his life, I think that all brought everything into perspective. And, you know, it's a sad situation that he had to go through this, but everybody got to go through certain things in life too. Like you as a brother, yeah. you as manager, you as mm -hmm. security, yeah. you damn near everything. Hype man. That's, that's, that's my heart. <laughs> everything. Now, you know, at one time, he was predicted to be the biggest artist in New York, right? Mm -hmm. Him and Wayne. I mean, he, him and Wayne were right here. Right, yeah, but together he had Wayne and all over Jersey and bowling alleys. <laughs> you know, what happened? That that's what I always want to know. What happened with you? What would you say? Because you were there, right there. I mean, that's 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 kind of like a, a that's a tough question, and that's a question I, I think I'm gonna have to let I, I will have to let Els answer, but mm -hmm. just. Just, just being to kind of elaborate on, on on what Kim was saying, there was a lot of stuff going on. Obviously, he had a little situation with that, but then it was this business stuff that was going on too. That you know, we just couldn't get right. You know, brothers argue, things was going on, things wasn't being. You know what I mean? Signed Cam off on and what had issues that was slowing up the music. Yeah, they, 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 they. they 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 did, but they all had issues though. It wasn't just Cam and Jules. It was mm -hmm. Cam, the the whole diplomat. So they had to kind of get back and patch that out. Patch that out. Yeah. I see Jim is saying the movie's happening. Yeah, yeah I mean that was news to us too <laughs> mm -hmm. when he said that. Um, but like he said also, um, when when we did sit down with him to actually get him on this project, uh, the Free Jewels, Free Santana project. Um, he, he told us, he's like, you know, yeah, we are thinking about, you know, once Jewels comes home, getting into the whole music. And it's really like a documentary of their lives. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that would be great. You know, I, I, I look forward to that. Now, this might be a stupid question. Are y'all really twins? Because y'all do <laughs> no, have nah. a resemblance. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. nah. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm 12, uh, 13 months older than them. So gotcha. like a year. All right, yeah. let's get into some of this love and hip hop storyline. Again? Though. Yeah, let's get okay. into it. So now you and Chrissy are really tight. How did that wait, happen? Wait, wait, wait. See, last this time is I what seen the you and Chrissy, y'all was fighting. Somebody's yes. getting thrown over. Listen, drag. listen, listen. See, what we're not going to do is that. I just okay? want to know how y'all got but cool. But that's the issue that I have right now is. That fight happened, and I don't understand why we're still talking about it 10 years later. Because they play and clips me, over and, 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 and over and over, and I over. get it, but still, we don't and Bella, have to I think you should slap the shit out of Envy. <laughs> I think you should slap the shit out of Envy. Well, you know what? Part of it is also because Thanks, you, and, so, you and Yanni <laughs> ended up arguing no, over that. Fight. Let me, I'm going to explain everything, and <laughs> yeah, I'm going to answer everybody's question without y'all even asking the question, go. okay? Let's go. So at the end of the day, um, what happened is... is I, me and Chrissy decided to sit down. Chrissy came to me. Listen, I want to talk to you. Let's sit down, have a conversation. She ended up apologizing. We put everything on the table, and we decided to move on as two grown women. That's dope. Okay? Now, fast forward. Um, I Yandy knows that that's what we decided to do. She decided to... to Continue to be mad about that situation for I don't know why. Yandy has a problem but, with the situation uh, between you and somebody me, else. Me and somebody else, and mind you, we've already decided to move forward. So what is the issue? Why are you now still talking about this fight that was ten years ago that we decided to move forward from? Is Yandy mad at you or is she mad at? I don't Chrissy? know what the fuck she's mad at. Uh, but at the end of the day, that's why I approach the situation. Why are you talking about this fight? What's the issue? My issue with you is this, this, and that. And then instead of her, you know what, Kim? Maybe you're right. Maybe I should be sensitive to the situation. If you decided to move forward, then so be it. 
I shouldn't have said what I said about the fight. That was my issue. Instead of her doing that, she decided to say, you know what, well, since you call me a fake bitch, I decided that you deserve that. So once those words came out of her mouth, it was all bets off for me. Right. And th- that could never have been my sister or my friend if obviously you've been thinking about this this way for 10 years, however long it's been since that fight. I'm confused, you. So Okay, so they got into a fight on the last episode. Well, not a... Are it, you watching the show? Was, I thought I was, you but you just confused on, the hell out of me. You threw a drink on Yandy. Yandy said that you... Because Yandy no, no, said that prior you... prior to... You get mad at me for drink. talking about the fights and you threw a drink on them? Prior to me throwing the drink at her... Let me open your water for you. Let me open your water for you, Kim. Prior to me... No, no, no. Prior to... Listen. I'll be over there before I throw that. No, prior to me throwing the drink she said that I deserved it. Mm. That's the why the drink ended up mm-hmm. getting thrown at her. Because at that point, it's like, wait, there's no talking no more. What do, we, what do you mean I deserved it? Nobody deserves no shit like that. Period, point blank. It don't matter. So I, not, not for nothing, I had to deal with that. That was embarrassing for me. I'm sure. And Chrissy told me it was embarrassing for her. So we're just trying to move forward mm-hmm. and pass it. But she wants to stay there. And we're not trying to stay there. So why is this still being brought up in conversations with Jonathan? Why, why, why are you so upset? And clearly the real reason why she's upset is because I did tell her that me and Yandy are not friends. Mm-hmm. So that's really the reason why she's upset. Mm-hmm. So she's thinking that, oh, I've made this alliance with Christy and to try to get at her. And no, that would never be the fact. I do not care about anything but positivity in my life right now. I got four kids to take care of. I have a husband that's incarcerated. I need to get these projects out. So when he comes home, he's right on the road and he's back to it with no distractions. I don't give a fuck about none of that drama. I'm good off Yandy. I'm dead off that situation. Like, I'm so far beyond and above that, literally. And I'm sure you've answered this question a million times, but will you and Yandy ever, you think, resolve things? Or it's just too late now because y'all were, like, sisters previously, and you guys had a great... Yeah, we were last time together, Mm -hmm. right? Right, exactly. Yeah, so, no, I'm, I'm, I don't... Would you want to? I don't have any friends at this point. Me and Chrissy are cool. We, ha- we have respect for each other and we've moved forward. Mm-hmm. And that's it. I don't... But you, you did know. throw a drink at it, though. Yeah, who? Yandy? Yeah. You don't throw a drink at Yandy. I sure did. That's mm-hmm. f- I mean, she when, lucky when, that's all she got. But when do we get to the, the, the age where we say, you know what, I'm not going to throw no, a drink at you? No, when do we get to the age where you move past the shit that I've decided to, you know, accept? Mm-hmm. If I decided to move forward and accept a girl to somebody's apology, then that's what I've decided to yeah, do. Yeah, that was a long time ago. It was ago. very childish of her to now say that I deserved it. And she's older than me. So what are we doing? Do mm-hmm. you think y'all would be talking about this if it wasn't for Love and Hip Hop, though? Because I'm sure they use that as a storyline. Well, line. if she didn't bring it up, mm-hmm. no, we wouldn't be talking about it. She brought it up. Right. Nobody else is talking about the fight but her. Why is she talking about that? Is this just twin is like okay? Twin is like look, can I, I came walk in. away? Like, like, I'm like, yeah, I'm, yo, <laughs> y'all, y'all already you, know. I wanna know why I'm here she's for the even music. Talking about that, you understand what I'm saying? Like, what, what is your issue? Why, mm-hmm. why would you stoop so low to talk about some shit that was aired on TV, national television? I was embarrassed. Like, my nigga, why are you talking about that? What are you gonna do when, when y'all see each other now? Is it- oh, it's whatever she wanna do. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Come on, guys. Y'all not... I'm just asking a question. Yeah, come on, Andy, you want to pick today you're acting mad catty. You know what? I think people at times have to say... <laughs> oh, wow. You wow. That was left Oh, no. I'm not crazy. the influence that. Hit him in the face. The influence that I'm trying to bring is not throwing no motherfucking drinks. Right. I'm trying to bring... I'm just saying y'all both powerful. Y'all shouldn't be throwing drinks. Maybe just sit down and have a conversation. I, and we could have done that if she didn't take it as far as she did, which was her bringing up that fight again. Why are you talking about something that you was actually there for mind you and then mm-hmm. do a goddamn thing so I mean do you think that there's things that you said that you have hurt her feelings too though yeah but we got past that we okay. talked about that right mind you she was in my wedding after that that's right so and then to fast forward after my wedding she decides to go on a reunion and make it seem like I was talking about her motherhood then behind the scenes actually really this season which they didn't air this um episode the scene, she ended up apologizing to me saying, you know what, I was out of line. I know you would never talk about my motherhood like that, so I apologize. Mm-hmm. And we decided to move forward this season. Well, no, they're not going to air that. They okay. deleted that scene. 
Right. You understand? Yeah, because I think sometimes it's people weighing in, too. Like, a lot of people weigh in. Obviously, y'all on a, a big television reality show. So people are weighing in as the episode's happening. And I'm sure that adds fuel to the fire at the same time. Well, for her, it does. Definitely. For me, I know what's real. And I know her. So she could never. Like, you understand? Like, it goes f- so far beyond these cameras and mm-hmm. what y'all really get to see. Like, not for nothing. Like, for real. Like, I'm trying to still keep my composure because, again, we were friends for a very long time, and, and I'm still loyal to this day. Okay. And that's all I'm going to say. That's good, because it's true. Y'all have kids involved. You know each other's families. We know everything you take about that each other. All right. right. Don't do that. Okay? I'm very loyal <laughs> to this day. Drink thrown or not. All right? <laughs> all right. That sounds like a threat. <laughs> I'm just I saying. Like it's not a motherfucking like threat. I, and, again, we were friends. Mm-hmm. I'm not that type of bitch to sit there and talk about nobody and what I know. At the end of the day, again, like I'm saying, I'm still loyal to this day. Okay. No matter if we're friends or not. But what did you ask? Twin, how do you feel, twin? What did you feel, twin? I was waiting for one of y'all to do it. I'm good. I'm here to talk about that boiling water dancing in the pot <laughs> with belly, two chains, and Joel Santana. That thing hot. You heard me? Yeah, belly and two chains on now? Yeah. Okay, okay. And Jeremiah's on the album. Yeah, Jeremiah. Right. It's, it's, it's a whole Davies. little event going on, and yeah, we're going to drop. single with Davey. Y'all drop, didn't put uh, this out on a Friday, though. You put no, it out. No, we put today. Today it dropped. Yeah, today, mm-hmm. which is interesting, because everybody's been putting out projects on Friday. Well, we were supposed to do it on Friday, mm-hmm. the one-year anniversary that he's been incarcerated, but we could not get... Listen, my husband was making changes, like, <laughs> till today. So yeah. we ended up, no, no, no more changes, and this is the day that we were able to release it. Yeah, because Friday mm-hmm. I was looking online, because I knew you had hit me that up. That was a, the original. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, I just see the yeah. single. I uh-huh. don't see the whole album mm-hmm. yet. So we ended up releasing a single on that day instead of releasing the whole project, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. But it's out now. Now, yeah. you guys dated for quite some time before you got yes. married. How long were y'all together, uh, off and on? Ten years. Ten years. Mm-hmm. So did you, in your head, ever visualize that y'all would eventually get married? Oh, yeah. And you met at the, uh, the video shoot, right? No, don't play with me. I thought it was. I'm sorry. It wasn't no video. Play. It was in the DM. I was in the video because we was already together. <laughs> oh, but, okay. And, and I, that's the day I met you too, Envy. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that Envy was, was in there being a little video vixen. Oh. Oh. You know, Envy like to shake his ass for the rappers <laughs> now. That was, that was my good day. That was my good day. Yeah, that was a good day. Woo! Yeah, that was a good day. But yeah, so um, when he did propose, uh-huh. right, was that expected? Did you think it was going to happen? No, I mean, I knew eventually it would happen. Mm-hmm. Um, regardless, you know, I'm his right or die. And, you know, I was going to be there whether we were going to get married or not. Like, that's that's who I've decided to be with. Okay. And um, to me, he's the man of my dreams. Like, for real. Good or bad, it doesn't matter to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, they also recently, and I want you to address this because uh-huh. I haven't heard this address, but there were some allegations of infidelity on your part. I saw there was some back and forth. Man. Your name got thrown into the mix. Listen, I, you bring this up is really on some bullshit, but I'm going to address it because the person who said you know, this actually apologized right, I, and came out and said, you know what? I threw her in the mix. It was a I dude, was dead ass wrong. It was a chick who did this. And um, even the people that she was talking, I'm like, who the fuck is these people? Like, please put me on to who they are. Who said like, it? Why would they say it? This is why I wanted her to address it because it was out there on the right. blog. And I'm like, for one, I done built this motherfucking legacy. Nobody's about to take this away from me. Like, there's no way. I have been so loyal to Jewels and would never. Who like, said that? Who said it? Why? Somebody said it. Nobody. But why? Why? Did they not like you? They were beefing over something else. So basically, I went on an interview for somebody that they didn't like, another female. And so because I did an interview with her, that same person that she said that I was cheating with or Mm -hmm. whatever um, was doing an interview as well. I don't know if she thought I went up to the radio station, but I did a whole phone interview. I never even met these people. You Mm. understand? So she just threw me in the mix because I was there the same day that this person did the interview with. And then that person that she doesn't like, the interviewer, Mm. it was just a whole It was Star Bram and Ra Ali going back and forth. Right, and And I got thrown in the motherfucking mix. So I'm like, well, what the fuck? You was just minding your business. Whatever y'all got (laughs) going on, y'all deal with. I have nothing to do with any of that shit. 
please keep me out of this. Me and her, me and this girl had a conversation outside of that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, behind the scenes, I got all the receipts if y'all want them. And, you know, she was just like, yo, they just, you know, I don't know. Like, I, I thought they told me, but now they backing out of it. And uh, da, 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 ah, ah, ah. So, did Joelle's call you immediately? Did you see No, her? no, no. This Joelle's call from a correctional Joelle's facility immediately? Me. Actually, I went to go see my husband and I told him face to face what was going on. Oh, the twin and, call you immediately. Like, hey, what's going on now? Twin didn't call me neither because everybody knows it's some bullshit. Because they know what's going on. He didn't even believe it. I don't got to do a goddamn thing because not for nothing, I went and see my husband and my husband was like, do you think I would marry you if I had an, any clue, any idea that you would ever step out on me? Kim, you know what's up. Mm-hmm. And that right there was like super official to me and I'm like, what am I doing? Like, I don't even have to address half of these things that are even happening right now in my life. I need to focus. Twin. <laughs> Let me get back to this project. Yes. Coming back to you in five. <laughs> <laughs> Ball and water dancing in the pot. <laughs> the same life. I can't. Uh, All right. Well, we appreciate. We should play you. the record. Play the record. Uh, boiling water with two chains, well, Lil Wayne and one. Belly. Which, which That's one the you, one. Which one you want to hear? I mean, yeah, we, we. Which one have you heard? I heard the one that y'all sent me. The Which only one, one is that one? That's the one that I posted look, on my look, Instagram. Look, look. What's the name of the one? Come on, come on. Oh my God, you're a DJ. I think it's 23 and 1, whatever it's called. Yeah, see, that's the one that you first. sent see, me. You got it. 23 and oh, 1. Tight. Play them. Look, it's the only one that y'all look, sent me. DJ. I'm about to send you everything, and we don't worry. It's out now. Because Els is my guy, so I'm just saying, for the radio, it looked like Two Chains, Wayne, and Belly. That might be the joint. That's a boiling water, yeah. Yeah, that's a boiling right. water. We, we 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 could definitely get into that and play that. And then um the pink um pink, pink eagle. Elephant. <laughs> pink eagle. Pink elephant. Pink eagle. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah. What's pink elephant? Pink eagle. You remember pink elephant? The pink elephant in the it's room. It's a club. No, nah, it was a club. Yeah. Oh no. Nah. Charlie's not, I'm not from it. Yeah, pink eagle is another track with Dave East and um Jim Jim Jones on it. All right. Uptown. Well, thank you guys for joining us. It's Kim Bella. Are you going back next season? Um, if my husband wants to, okay. he'll be home this summer. So you know, we're gonna try to make that happen. And off papers, officially, um, the end of the year, so December. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, it's Kim Bella. It's twin. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.